everyone. I am Marian G. Valentino. This video will discuss about the difference of using independent variable and dependent variable to input process output in research. Kailan pa dapat natin gamitin si IB at DB at yung IPO o yung input process output in research. First, alamin muna natin ano si input process output in research. For the input, it reflects the resources that groups at have their disposal. It is the conditions that exist prior to group activities. Generally, it is divided into three categories. Paano nga ba isinusulat ng researcher ang data sa input? So, we have the individual level factors, group level factors, and environmental factors. Ano-ano naman dapat ang ilagay natin under the individual level factors? For the individual level factors, ito yung tinatawag natin demographic profile of the respondents. So, inilalagay natin under ng input yung ating demographic profile. For example, so age, aalamin mo kung ano yung edad ng iyong respondents. Next, we have the sex. Aalamin mo kung ilan ang male at female sa iyong respondents. The next, we have also the gender. Okay, ano ang pagkakaiba niya kay sex? In gender, it refers to the socially constructed roles, behaviors, expression, and identities of girls, women, boys, men, and gender diverse people. So, dito naman, aalamin mo, Kung sino-sino ba yung mga tinatawag natin straight male o straight female? Okay. Next. We have also the educational attainment. Aalamin mo sino-sino sa iyong respondents ang nakatapos na o nakatungtong lang ng high school, nakagraduate ng four-year degree sa college, O nakatungtong lang ng college? Sino-sino doon ang nakagraduate ng two-year course? Sino-sino doon ang nakagraduate ng master's degree? At sino-sino yung mga professional degree? Yung mga doctor in medicine, etc. And then, sino-sino naman yung doctorate degree in education? For example, yung PhD and EDD or yung doctor of philosophy or doctor in education. Next, under the second categories in input, we have the group level factor. Under this, okay, so work structure, teamworks, and group size. Ah, alamin mo, for example, sa age group, sino-sino dito ang under ng young, middle, and old. Another example for the group level factor is the control group and experimental group. Pag sinabing control group, ito yung mga respondents na napili mo na hindi gagamit ng iyong experiment, innovation, or strategy. While experimental group, ito ito naman yung mga respondents na napili mo nagagamit ng iyong experiment, innovation, intervention, or strategy. Then last, we have the environmental factor. It is the organization culture task characteristics. Ano-ano okay. yung mga environmental factor na nakaka-apekto sa iyong study? Okay. For example, yung air, water, light, wind, soil, and etc. Okay? So, under with the biotic, we have the competition, organism, predation, symbiosis, like mutualism, parasitism, and the disease agent. Okay? For 
Hindi company naman, ito yung aalamin mo, alin ba nabibilang o saan ba nabibilang ang iyong respondent. Sa technology, sa climatic, sa political, legal, media, economic, and market. So, ito ito yung mga categories na po pwede mong isulat under ng input. Next, we have the process. It is the mediating mechanism that converts inputs to output. Okay? Sa madaling salita, ito yung mga procedure na ginawa mo doon sa iyong study. For example, unong ginawa mo, nag-pre-planning design ka, then you have the action, observation, then reflection. For the refinement, ibig sabihin, nagkaroon ng revision. Okay? And then, after the revision, babalik ka ulit sa action, and then, observation from your revision, then reflection. Okay? Meron naman din tayong tinatawag na Rapid Application Development or the RAD. Okay? Yung Rapid Application Development, ito yung ginagamit sa innovation, intervention, or experiment kapag ang iyong study ay, ma ay maiksi lamang ang time frame. Ibig sabihin, 3 to 6 months lang ang iyong gagamitin. Meron naman tayong tinatawag na SDLC or Software Development Life Cycle. Sa Software Development Life Cycle, ito naman yung ginagamit ng mga researcher kung ang kanilang study ay lalagpas mula 6 na buwan pataas bago matapos ang kanilang research. Okay? Next. Output. So, it is the indicators of team effectiveness have generally been clustered into two general categories. We have the group performance and member reaction. So, ibig sabihin, ito yung result ng iyong study. Okay? So, papaano nga ba tayo bubuo ng IPO sa ating research? Babalikan po ninyo ang iyong ginawa sa iyong research question. Tandaan, kung ano ang iyong research question o yung SOP or statement of the problem, yun din dapat ang makikita sa iyong conceptual framework. Ito yung IBDB or IPO. Okay. So, paano nga ba isusulat ang IPO? I have here an example of research question. So, I have here a four research question. So, what is the status of students' attendance before using the attendance monitoring system? So, ibig sabihin, ang study na to ay patungkol sa attendance monitoring system ng isang eskwelahan. Itong school na nababanggit dito, ay dito ako kung saan nagtatrabaho. So, school attendance record, coordination with the rest. Then second, what application model may be introduced to improve the student's attendance? Third, how functional the attendance monitoring system be evaluated in terms of students, parents, teachers? Then fourth, how acceptable the student's attendance monitoring system be evaluated in terms of functionality, accuracy, reliability, user-friendliness, and security. So, ito pong research questions. Dito po natin kukuhanin para makabuo po tayo ng input process output. Tingnan kung mabuti itong research questions. Okay, next, ito po yung ating input. Nagmula ang ating input sa ating research question ng status of students' attendance. So, kukunin mo yung school attendance record, 
coordination with parents. Ito yung kanilang, yung iyong parent consent. And then, pwede mo rin ilagay sa input yung functional of attendance monitoring system. Nangalin sa estudyante, sa magulang at sa teacher. Now, for the process, katulad ng sinabi ko sa inyo kanina, ano-ano yung procedures na gagamitin mo sa iyong research. So, dito, ginamit ko yung RAD. Ito yung Rapid Application Development. Remember, kapag RAD, ibig sabihin, 3 to 6 months yung gagamitin mo yung span or time frame ng iyong study. Okay? Then, evaluation of student attendance monitoring system. Then, gagamit din ako ng survey questionnaires, observation. Then, interview and analyzing of data. Siyempre, yung result o yung output ng aking research ay yung student's attendance monitoring system. So, lahat to ng aking IPO ay nagmula sa ating research question. Remember po ulit, ang IPO ay manggagaling sa iyong research question. Next, for the independent variable, it is the variable the experimenter changes or controls and is assumed to have a direct effect on the dependent variable. So, ito yung din yung tinatawag nating cause o magiging sandi doon sa iyong study. Okay? So, for example, okay, so bago muna ako magbigay ng example, alamin muna natin ang dependent variable. So, sa dependent variable, it is the variable that is being measured or tested in an experiment. Kung si independent variable, ito yung cause, si dependent variable naman ay ang effect. Okay? Example. So, sa kanina ang binigay kong research question, doon tayo kukuha ng independent variable at dependent variable. Ito po. Sa independent variable, kinuha ko ulit ang mga nasa aking research question. Ito, ito yung status of students' attendance, yung school, co uh, school attendance record, coordination with parents, then yung functional of attendance monitoring system. Students, parents, teachers. Then yung acceptability of students' attendance monitoring system. Ito yung functionality, accuracy, reliability, user-friendliness, and security. Then syempre, ang dependent variable ko o yung magiging output ng aking study ay students' attendance monitoring system. Okay. Ano ang natanggal din? Ano ang nawala doon sa aking IPO? Okay. Sa IPO, nawala lang yung process. Okay. Hindi lang nababanggit sa independent variable at dependent variable yung mga procedures na ginawa mo doon sa iyong study. Okay po? So, IPO, inilalagay mo yung process kung papaano mo ginawa o yung procedures ng iyong intervention, innovation, or experiment. Sana po, meron po kayong natutunan kung ano ang pagkakaiba ni IPO sa IB at DB. Thank you! Please subscribe my YouTube channel. I am Mary Ann G. Valentino or Mary Ann Valentino. Like and subscribe.